Hey guys, welcome back to Oxygen Not Included. Clay is amazing space colony simulator extraordinaire. My name is Twitchy and we have been on the LV426 for about 510 cycles now. The LV426 is a collection of three rocks that we're going to eventually get out and find us some more. Where we have been going forward into the future with eight, eight colonists trying to make our way there. There are five of them on this rock, Yakil, and there are three of them over here on Tirano. This place deals with oil and hydrocarbons and such forth whereas this is kind of life support rock really last time we spent most of our time going through trying to get the metal refinery up and running so that we could get our rockets running to go off to new planets and seeing new things and indeed Indeed, the steel has been created during our downtime, and so we're going to start making ourselves the next rocket. We're going to put a steam engine underneath. But how are we going to be making the steel? That is today's challenge, but I'm going to put a spacefarer module on there. No, I'm not. Not immediately, because I want to put a cargo bay on there as well. We're going to build it out of copper, because we've got a lot of copper. I'm going to scroll in weirdly, because the menu doesn't work properly. Put a spacefarer module. This is where people are going to live. We need to be able to... Oh, we need to be able to pull some ladders up here. But we need to be able to keep our guys alive in space. And we're going to use this spacefarer module to do so. And of course, every rocket needs a nose cone. As a new day breaks, we're going to go over to Toronto and just see how things are going on down here. I've got a few uh, old systems that need to be taken up. Uh, last time, this uh, little gas lock that we've made here, unfortunately, a little bit of steam got caught behind it. I don't know if it's there anymore. It's not there anymore. This is beautiful. But this meant that a whole bunch of our uh, gas pipes got broken. These are going to be coming along and getting fixed. Why is this picking up steam? Where are you picking up steam from? Ah, oh, man, why is that not? Aha, aha, aha. I see a problem. All right, so somehow, somehow this has got a hooked up wrong let's go through and sort this out what's supposed to happen here is this is looking for natural gas and this is looking for natural gas when both are receiving a signal of natural gas this and gate will be like hey because this one's got natural gas and this one's got natural gas surely there's only natural gas in between thus giving a clean line of uh, of gases going through to our natural gas generator over here i knew this wouldn't be perfect so we built ourselves a little filter uh, but it turns out it's even more imperfect than i thought it was Whilst I'm having a look over here, one of the big problems we've got, tangent time again, let's go off on a little one. Uh, I can't control these generators with these types of batteries, and uh, I don't have the battery that enables me to do so. Oh, it takes a while to load up the research nowadays. We do have the technology to do so, though. Sound amplifiers and the smart battery. Let's get going. We can also put a jukebox up and a power control station, produce my trip, oh, to increase the power of output generators. I found that kind of not to be worth it, though. Maybe they've tuned them up a little bit in Spaced Out. We'll, we'll give them a look. We'll give them a look. But uh, I've always found it's much better just to build another generator. Maybe I haven't been pushing up hard enough against the carrying capacity of my uh, asteroids. Maybe that's the issue. Okay, jobs given, distractions distracting. Let's go and have a look and see what's going on on your kill. I think up here, oh yeah, Hicks is coming along and starting to build stuff. We still don't have an oxygen system for getting out into into space. We, we might need to do that. What is this across here? We've got a, got a layer of liquid carbon dioxide just sat on top of all my solar panels. That's, uh, I wonder if that's got anything to do with the fact that I forced my duplicates to go out and survive just on their own. I, I, I don't know, I don't know. <laughs> I'm not sure if we could find any causal link there. I mean, phew, all these systems are so opaque. Another little side notey tangent thing. I've been looking at these guys for quite some... Are we totally out? Sorry? We're out of copper ore. We're nearly out of iron ore. Sorry? Well, that's, that's a thing, isn't it? Well, I wanted to go through here. It looks like we're going to get ourselves some copper ore anyway. Not not quite the circumstances I wanted to be digging this copper all up, but we'll, we'll, we'll do it anyway. I'm going to put a small corridor in there, and I am going to put a pneumatic door at the end. That's right. I want to turn this little space, as soon as I remember where things are... Furniture. It's obviously in furniture. We're going to turn it into another nature reserve place. It's got two... Two little plants and a whole bunch of sweetles to look after. So, I mean, th this should be lovely for people to come and chill out here during their downtime. I don't think there's a more appropriate place closer to... Oh, look. Oh, no, it's only got one. I suppose we could connect these two areas up and then have one. I don't, I don't know. You need two two wild plants, ones not in farm plots, to, uh, to count as a nature reserve. Oh, it's a park, actually. On the room overlay here, park, you get the morale and nature reserve. You also get a morale bonus. Uh, two wild plants or four wild plants it's all done on the number of plants okay crazy i suppose not crazy it makes an awful lot of sense 
Oh, uh, oh, it's been built. We've got a new rocket, the Virgo 2. Are, are people going to be able to get in there? New interior. Oh, look, it's huge. It's huge. Diamond window still outside. Oh, I love it. Rocket control station. How, how are we going to get... Oh, I mean, it's huge. What are we going to do with this? Two bedrooms, some sort of oxygen supply, power, storage down the middle. I don't know. Maybe down the middle is not a great idea. Maybe, maybe, maybe what we want to do is put a ladder just in front of the door. And that way this door space is being used sensibly. You're right, Hicks there, mate. You, you're doing it. I, I kind of wanted you to be working outside. I didn't realize the, uh, the building the ladder was so important. It's not that important. What are you doing in here? <laughs> so the oxygen mask checkpoint does work in a small space. We could probably knock down this stuff here. I was just starting to see if we could uh, make some space down the bottom but I reckon if we deconstruct this and the gas pump we'll, we'll have a little sacrificial room here where where gases can be lost it's not too big shouldn't be too bad oh carbon dioxide turns solid so quickly I was like oh does this mean that I've got a liquid that we can chill down really far no no we don't have a liquid we can ch chill down really far I was gonna pump all the carbon dioxide that's coming up via this pipe here into a room and then just pick it up and see if I could chill it down further and then start condensing other gases it do doesn't work like that unfortunately what about chlorine what, what is the liquid state of that surviving we don't get solid chlorine you say Ah, 110. I mean, that's a little bit better. Ranch Farmer! Rancher Farmer! We've been after this one for a little while. Bit weird that it's got allergies, and we're welcoming Cool to the team. Yes, from Alien Resurrection. Welcome, welcome. We need to make sure that you have a place to live. Here we go. You're down here. Welcome, welcome. And you've got a mess table. Nice. Uh, oh, it's been a while since we've had a new duplicate. I need to go around and do things like skills, priorities. Oh, so much stuff. Oh, obviously farmer. Well done. Welcome. Welcome. So Ripley Ranch is over farming, so we're going to put cool down as farming over ranching. Both still high priorities, though. Oh, forgot the hat. The hat. That's important. Away she goes, doing the thing. Brilliant. Oh, this is great. This is great. She's very slow. Very slow compared to the others. That's a bit of a shame. Right, how are we doing up top? Do we have anything that even... No, not, not yet. Unreachable build, you say? I disagree. Oh, is it because we've got, yeah, checkpoints with no oxygen mark? Ah, ah, ah. Okay, so the other thing we need... Oh, look, the batteries are coming. Beautiful, beautiful. Is it in the stations? We need a workstation. Crafting station. Crafting station. There we go. That's what we need. And with this crafting station, we need about three of these oxygen masks. Okay, first oxygen mask has been made. How long is it going to take to be delivered up to the top? It could take some time. It could take some time, but we'll see. Okay, having set up the repair order to just run forever, all the masks are being left on the floor here. This normally means that nobody thinks this is important enough, so I'm just going to encourage things along because it is what is holding us up here. Okay, here comes Hicks and Bishop, and Ash is bringing up the the rear. Oh, that's going to be fine. That's going to be fine. What's going on? Oh, it's Ripley. I thought it was Bishop. My bad, my bad. Uh, okay, so that that's going well. Are people going to be able to just use it now? No, we've got we got we got to stock up the oxygen first. Okay, construction is a go again, and I suppose this behoves us to start thinking about where we're going to be making some steam. We've got a water line coming through here. We could literally just move it up here, throw down a tepidizer. Yeah, I don't see why. Let's do it. Let's do it. Okay, I've changed my mind as to where we're building this thing. We've got water over here, so let's make a use of it. Where did that just get put down? I think I need to put this actually one more to the side. Uh, only, only because I need to run some automation to it, and it needs to be a little bit closer. Let, let's do this quick. Thermo sensor, tepidizer, put a box around it. Now what I want to do here is actually flood the bottom with oil uh, and then put water on top of that oil because the water, it can only go so hot before it starts like flashing into steam and then the tepidizer won't be able to warm it up anymore. The oil, on the other hand, can go very hot indeed. Now, to put it in to begin with, we have a little tank down below. I'm looking for the bottle emptier. There we go. Uh, so if we put down a bottle emptier, and they should fill this up with the uh, crude oil we've got down below. 
Thought I'd come and check on Taranu. Yep, I, I built something out of the wrong material here. I, I do it all the time. I really need to start paying more attention. I was wondering what material we're going to make it out of as we don't have much steel over here, but we've got some gold amalgam, and that has a plus 50 degree temperature. That takes us up to 125. That is plenty. I don't want to have this any hotter than that anyway, because if I have it too hot, the slicksters start dropping molten slicksters, which sounds good because they make petroleum, but they make petroleum, which then goes into my ore refinery, which is like, it's, tr it's troubles. It's, it's just troubles. Other than that, things are going quite well. They've not got much time for doing other things. So, uh, Eric over here is in charge mostly of, like, life support, if you will. He goes around, he ch cleans the toilets, checks out the uh, the compost heap, does the uh, the things like that. Then Honda, of course, goes around, does the farming and the ranching. And uh, Randomers is trying to catch up on a backlog of lice loaf making that uh, that needs to be done. Uh, it turns out I had this microbe musher down at far too low a priority, and everything else was taking, uh, taking the focus away from that. Once this gets caught back up with, only got a few more lice loaf to go. Hopefully randomers should be able to get back to uh, to making all of these wonderful pipes. There might be a small hiccup in the plan. Even with this entire pit emptied out and all the materials that we had down here that we emptied out, all the crude oil, sorry, that we emptied out of these pipes when it was over full, is still not enough to flood this liquid tepidizer. So I've had to go over to Taranu and ask for this little bypass here to be installed again and as you can see we have got a bit of a flow going it's going over towards the teleport machine where it is going to get itself back over to Yakil and start filling in this pit again hopefully at that point everybody will start emptying bottles back down here whilst we were into the sides here I've decided to take the opportunity to go and mine some copper ore am I going to go get it all or am I going to wait and come down this way I think I'm going to wait and then come down this way my biggest problem that I have right now is carbon dioxide Oxide. It uh, it seems to be just condensing everywhere. When these guys breathe out, when they're coming along to do some stuff, it, uh, well, I mean, it's stopped freezing now. So that's that's kind of a good thing. We're going to be using this gas pump to get all of the gases out of this box. Uh, I've also hooked up a, an automation on the side here. Oh, I forgot the crude oil would be remarkably warmer than everything else. That's fine, though, because we've got it all the way over here. We are miles... Well, not maybe not quite as far away from the actual base as I thought it was. But there's, like, cold everywhere. So I think we should be fine just having this little bit in here. When it gets full up a little bit more, I'm just going to go across and disconnect that pipe bridge that we've got over here, the liquid bridge. Oh, the... the uh uh, the plastic has been, been producing non-stop since we set this system up and we are rolling it right now. It's not all here, unfortunately. Well, or fortunately. Uh, most of it is in a pile right here. 11 tons. Amazing. It's coming through so much, much hotter, so I have asked for this to become a hot, hot priority. We really need to get the oil out of here. Well, we're not going to get all the oil out of here, but we need to get the oil filling up over here by the tepidizer. Oh, look, there we go. Uh, you know what? Job done. Okay, that's, that's great. Do we want to get more in there? I think we might want to get more in there. Uh, I've only set it to 15 degrees so that it tells us when we are submerged or not submerged in liquid. We're still not submerged in liquid. We're going to leave it running and see what happens. Okay, at roughly 200 kilograms of tile. I think we're going to leave it there. I need to destroy this pitcher pump. We need to get this bit of igneous rock out of here. And then we need to build a thermally insulated wall down here. Whew, and then we can start thinking about actually get pumping the gases out, getting some water in there. We'll have like a steam supply. Hey, the Ripley, I mean, I, I appreciate what's going on here, but I, I did say stop. Another thing I've got to do, I've got to rip down this pump here. It has got this line of waste gases coming all the way up here. We used to sort it to carbon dioxide and put it in the carbon dioxide rocket, but of course we don't do that anymore. So I'm also getting rid of this a gas filter, and we're going to have a high-pressure gas vent that we're just going to pump a whole load of stuff into. We, we need to get rid of the gases that are in this line, and this is how we're going to do it. Leaving us somewhere where we can send this pump to whilst we try and empty out the box. One thing I might do at some point, I'm not going to do now because I've got far too much going on, is watch some of the carbon dioxide drift down from up here all the way down to the bottom of the map. I think that would be, I mean, is interesting the right word? I'm not sure. Look, there seems to be a bit of a carbon dioxide trap here. Maybe if we replace this with, a, oh, oh, there's a whole bunch of dirt there. I was going to say with an air vent tire, but that's um, kind of pointless. You're right. We should just rip up the entire floor to try and get at these few bits of dirt. I, I mean, why, why would that not be the option? Well, Hicks was like instantly here. Good work, mate. Good work. We'll do that and that. And then, as I was saying, something about an airflow tile? Yeah. Oh. Oh, how is this still... <laughs> 
Ah, uh, we got a problem. We got a problem. Uh, let's go over to Tyrannic. <laughs> oh, no. <laughs> right, we're going to rip down this pump over here. I uh, think that pipe over there. Oh, man. Uh, and and may maybe let's break one of these. Go. Go, on, Bishop. Thank you. If, you. if you could, that would be great. Okay, well, we've got, we got a little bit of a, an issue here. Not, not, the, not the worst issue in the world because we did want to warm all this up. What's going to happen if it drips down here? It's not the end of... No, it's, it's even going to catch in this basin. Okay, we, we're going to be fine. We do have some other issues. Let's set up another bottle emptier over here. Try and get this all swept up and emptied into uh, into the hole. So when you do this with water, when it gets completely overfilled, this liquid vent says that it's over pressure. 100 kilograms, 1,000 kilograms. So at the moment, crude oil only stacks to 878 kilograms. Okay, that's... Uh, Today, I most definitely learn. Oh no, they're building the wall and I don't know where this bit of granite's gonna go. Whew, I, I really hope it doesn't get pushed into the box. It, it wouldn't be the biggest problem in the world. It would be, uh, I don't know, just like having a lump of something hot inside your water tank. It, it wouldn't be a big problem, but I, I kind of don't like it. All right, good, thank you. It worked, it worked. Okay, the control is in place. Let's toggle this off for a second. I just want to make sure everything's okay. So that's just going to go out and straight up to that high-pressure gas vent. Do we have anything in here we need to worry about? Not by the looks of it. All right, let's uh, flip that switch and watch this box empty. Mild panic attack. I do believe some things in here might overheat at temperatures that I'm not looking forward to. Now, it looks like we should be okay. There's no overheat temperature on this. That's good. We pushed this up all the way to 325. I thought the liquid vent might have one, and, and no. It turns out no. Melting point of over 1,000. That's great. All right. Uh, 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 let's get back to watching. Ah, oh, just in time for downtime. That's great. Well, I mean, it's kind of not because we now need to pump some gases in, but let's turn this switch off and let's turn this temperature up to 200. It's going to take a little bit of time to get there. I am told that the te Don't tell me it's not. Why? Do you, why? No. No. Well, I do have some pipes that need to be emptied, if you know what I mean. Because not only does this all need to come out of here, but if we go back to Taranu, I do believe, yeah, this pipe is also completely full here. So that's going to be interesting. So, oh, oh, have they done... They've done the polluted water line. Oh, that, that's amazing. Is it full of just polluted water or is it some mess got in there? No, it's just full of polluted water. Wonderful. Of course, the polluted water is the waste output of our natural gas generator and our petroleum generator. Both of which are pretty much running off the uh, the slicksters down here, and I suppose the oil well as well. Okay, I'm sure a whole day with uh, yellow alerts running hasn't hurt the productivity of any parts of this base at all whatsoever. No, and that's definitely not important because we are the oxygen producers. Uh, where, where is it? Over here? There should be oxygen flowing. There is still oxygen flowing. This is good. The water is also still flowing. Yeah, no, this, this is grand. This is grand. So from the other realm, from the other rock, we are still getting some more oil. How much was actually going to empty out? Here it goes. It's quite a lot. It's quite a lot. Is it going to be enough to completely submerge our liquid tepidizer here, though? That is the question. So I wonder if the tepidizer, like, took some liquid in or something? Like, why it became less submerged? I, st I still don't know. Like you've only got a sneeze on a transformer or a uh, battery over here for it to consider itself flooded, but the tepidizer, oh no, gotta completely cover it. Oh no. Ah, oh, target temperature 85 will turn off when up the. Oh, will this override that? Oh, I hope so, but I'm, I'm kind of thinking it won't. Ah, oh, this whole plan might not, might not work. Ah, we might actually end up having to put a thermal tepidizer in there. Uh, no, an aqua tuna in there anyway. Where, where is it? Down in... Is it the refinement? No, it's uh, utilities. Thermal aqua tuna. I don't know what I want to make cold, though. That's the problem. I suppose we could make this cold. Target temperature reached. Can confirm. I'm an idiot. Oh, my gosh. Okay, well, so what we're going to do is we're going to use this temperature down here to actually be the thing that we are cooling down. I don't really have anything that I want to cool down. I mean, we've got some lava at the very bottom of the world and I am tempted just to pierce this here and then collect the steam and pass it up the, through the map but I, I, there's problems with that. They're mostly cooling problems and ending up with broken
broken steam pipes everywhere. So what we're going to do instead is to uh, seal up the hot stuff underneath. We're going to then put in some radiant liquid pipes, then put some... Uh, where, where are we here? I want to take these these ladders out so that I can put in the, as soon as I find it, aqua thermal tuna up on top. Then we're going to cool this down, as I say. Uh, maybe freeze the... the the oil? I don't know. I don't know. Uh, they are at the wrong priorities. I need those liquid pipes first. Thanks. I suppose another thing we can do is deconstruct the tepidizer because if it can only go up to 80 degrees then we don't need to build it out of anything other than, I mean, gold amalgam goes up above uh, 70. Does it have an overheat temperature here? 125. If, if I do any of the other materials, does it go down to... Like, even copper's 125. Okay, uh, I mean, we're gonna, we're gonna use some copper ore then. Okay, now comes one of the more delicate parts of this operation. I need to try and get some liquids into this pipe network here that's gonna be cooling everything down. We do, of course, have this uh, pool of crude oil over here, and we can pump it up and out, but I don't want to pump too much because we will end up with a whole bunch of crude oil in the pipes and then I've got to like turn the pipe the, the bridges around and stuff like that to try and drain it all so if we can get it all out nice and smooth that would be great we don't have the power that I had here last time let's quickly just set that up as well uh, it didn't take too long last time just sw switch one of those around grab myself a heavy watt wire and put in this huge long line of ordinary lowest level wire all right and the pump is running the question is how long do we leave this running and more importantly how do we shut it off instantly? I haven't hooked up any uh, any uh, automation here. Does this look like the same length as that? I'm, feel I'm feeling about there. Let's deconstruct this and get someone doing it pretty sweet if we can. No, no, everyone's just going to run past. Bishop, Bishop's in charge. All right, off you go, buddy. Off you go. Many doors to get through, though the doors are doing their, their job. As you can see, warm. Cold. So uh, I don't know. I'm not. I'm not going to get rid of them because they're they're just doing it. You know. The transformer. It's taking a little bit longer to be destroyed than I thought it would do. Okay, there we go. That is all of that stop. But are we going to backfill this? Oh, it, it looks like it might be a little bit too much. Thankfully, we can just take this bridge out, turn this bridge around, turn this bridge around, and put in a drain down below. Yeah, it's definitely going to be too much, right? The aqua tuna is working, and hopefully the bridge is going to stop. All right, cool. Let's uh, destroy this bridge. So I was going to take out this thermo sensor down here because if the liquid tepidizer tops out at 85, why do we need to regulate its temperature? Well, actually, it's just a good idea to have this here so that when the liquid tepidizer is on, the aqua tuna is not, which I um, I appear to have neglected to put the uh, the final piece of wire into place. So uh, maybe not doing quite as well as I would have liked. Oh, no. Our newest recruit. Let, let's, let's stop her. Stop, stop, stop someone else oh it's not going to be someone else this is sad so the problem is because this is not submerged in any liquid it's just getting warmer and warmer and warmer oh look look, look. we can get other people on it there you go bishop off you go bishop's a much better choice for doing this uh if we can get him involved great that he should be able to do it before nighttime actually sets in properly okay it wasn't quite before night set in but at least it, oh oh no no you're gonna go sleep before you even fix it it would have taken you two seconds all right, bye then. All Bishop did was walk down these stairs, get to the sink, and then turn around and come back. And we're like, no. <laughs> Okay, I've got a steam box here that I would only ever build if I was changing plans halfway through a build. Uh, it seems like it would work though. I've uh, unhooked up the tepidizer from this output, from this uh, thermo sensor down here because it was the wrong way around. Uh, that, that's fine. That's no big problem there. The only thing we really need to do is to hook up one of these pipes. I was going to say hook up one of these pipes to this water line over here, but I've, I've just noticed that my, my gases are not turning. Now, I know this is not turning on but it should just go past to this liquid pipe and get dropped out there's a little bit of crude oil in there i wonder if that's too much no no i know it's not we're gonna try we're gonna try let's turn this switch off and open up this wall here again uh, and just empty out one of these blobs Okay, let's watch this. Ha Where's this water coming? Oh no, the uh, the thing got built already. I, I didn't want that to happen. Ah. <laughs> okay, that started the loop back up. That's beautiful. Um, Let's try and get this liquid bridge destroyed. Get this crude oil swept up. I mean, I want to have water in there anyway, so it's not too bad that it's happening. It just wasn't the right time, you know? 
Okay, is that it? Are we going to have any more problems? I'm sure there are going to be some more problems, and we will solve them piece by piece. This this uh, flooding out here is not the best. Insulated tile needs to go in. Okay, gap plugged. We're going to pull out all the atmosphere in here again. It's going to take a little while, but that's no problem. A little bit less than it would have done normally because we've got water down the bottom. So we're just pumping out the oxygen from these top three layers here. Oh, Bishop's coming to put the water in place. This is good. I'm not sure how we're going to control it, actually. I've just realized that this is probably not the best way of doing it. If we put the liquid vent down the bottom, maybe... No, even that would have been bad because we would have ended up flashing it all to steam uh, and the water not stopping. So I think we're just going to have to like decide how much water we're going to put in there. Maybe fill this bottom layer uh, and then break the, break the pipe. Okay, do we think it's time to start making steam? The only thing stopping us is this. Let's turn that over. It is above 85 degrees, which means the liquid tepidizer is off. That will turn the aqua tuner on and we start turning this into a warmer water. We're at 20 degrees, so I'm not worried about flashing it to steam before we get rid of the oxygen. Of course, I do need to turn this switch off before we do turn turn any of it to steam uh we, we we do just don't want to mix any well we'd be dumping the steam out here at the moment but well of course we want to get it in the rocket okay interesting situation here where the tepidizer uh, the thermal aqua tuner is chilling this area down before it chills the side of the tepidizer so this reads a lower temperature than the tepidizer is actually at i might turn this down to 84 uh, the thing is i really <laughs> I really don't want them both coming on at the same time. That's going to be an instant wire overload. So we'll, we'll just leave it like this, I suppose. This is me wishing I'd used pre-warmed water. There is so much liquid in here that this aqua tuner is going to take a long time to raise it. We've already taken it up from like 18 up to 22, but it's going to take some time. Well, it's taken far, far too many cycles. I started counting about 15 cycles ago, but we are finally at the point where the water is starting to reach 100 degrees. Actually, about 98. We're going to need to take it up to 103 because there's like this weird phase transition state that clay have put in because if you could imagine it if it's exactly 100 degrees uh, and there's like a hot thing on one side and a cold thing on the other it's just going to bounce back and forth really really quickly so they uh, put a little bit of a buffer in there uh the three degrees i believe it to be and we are a water of 101 degrees i am interested to know what's going to happen when all the steam explodes like that and it, it comes up and hits like the liquid vent and this wire over here uh, these are all being brought up to temperature a couple of things i have done to make it a little bit more efficient as you can see two power transformers here that puts in 2000 uh, watts per, per whatever they, they're doing uh, and that will power out the thermo tuner here uh, I also swapped out the crude oil for water because if we have a look at crude oil here the specific heat capacity the amount of energy it holds per degree is 1.69 whereas if we have a look at water over this side uh, we can have a look at it down here it's 4.17 that is nearly nearly four times the 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 better for moving temperature around because the thermal aqua tuna has a weird little quirk where it takes 14 degrees off it doesn't deal in energy it deals in temperature so the the liquid with the higher specific heat capacity used the better the next step would be of course to hook up this little gas bridge here and take it all the way up to our rocket at the top here we need to set some cargo we need to set up a interior to send these guys over to shirubi but i'm gonna see you guys then when we're gonna do that Bye.